What is going on YouTube and Weight Loss Warriors? It's your boy C-Dub and I'm back with another video. And today I want to tell you the truth about loose skin and I'm going to do it right after this. What is going on? My name is C-Dub and if this is the first time you've clicked on my channel, I lost 125 pounds eating OMAD or one meal a day. Welcome to this channel. I started this channel to help you out with tips, tricks, and knowledge that I've learned in my journey to help you on your journey. And for all of you that have clicked on my channel before and come back to see more of my videos, my weight loss warriors, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for growing this channel and allowing me the opportunity to help people all over the world. So today's topic is about loose skin. And this is an interesting topic because I think that one of the questions that I get asked the most is about my loose skin and or are they gonna have loose skin if they lose weight and they fast. And so I wanted to really talk about it because there's so much misinformation and there's so much uh, just guiding people in the wrong way. And I wanted to talk about all the different elements, give it a real solid discussion about this topic. And so it, it comes in a lot of different ways and I'll hop in and maybe use a couple of YouTubers as some references and I'll have them linked down below too. But ultimately we get so much misinformation. So first I will start with my personal self. I don't have much loose skin. I have a little teeny bit on the bottoms of my arms. I might have a little around my stomach. I think a little bit on the inside of one of my thighs has a little bit of, of loose skin. But for the most part, I did not get devastated the way sometimes you see skin hanging off of people. So one of the concerns that people have though immediately is that they're going to be in a situation where they have that, hag that, that sagging, tons of skin everywhere, and they hear that intermittent fasting and or eating one meal a day or a warrior diet can help them not have it and they look to me and they say well you don't have a lot of it you have a manageable amount and it's because you did OMAD and they start to assume that one thing relates to the other and they they, they get going so they ask me questions about it and I, I want to break it down and really get a, a full understanding and first of all your skin is your largest organ it is it's full of cells and it's it it expands because you're large and your skin has a hard time shrinking back but the facts are whether a lot of people don't want to talk about it or not some people are going to have an easier time than other people based on their genetics and how their skin reacts and I think we get a little bit lost in that that there are going to be some of you that no matter what you do are going to end up with loose skin and that is just the way that it is with that said, you can have loose skin uh, removed in surgery, which I know a lot of you don't want to do as an option. And I've told many of you a million times that it's really simple. If you're choosing between being healthy or having loose skin, you know, being healthy with loose skin, in other words, you got to go with being healthy with loose skin as opposed to being morbidly obese and a shorter lifespan. I would much rather live longer and have loose skin than I would be to live a shorter life because diabetes got me or heart disease or dementia. I mean, these are real life things that stare some of us in the face and we use loose skin as an excuse to not get the weight off of us and it does not make a lick of sense. And so you can look at a couple of different things to, to really break this down. And, and one YouTuber I know of, his name is Obese to Beast. I'm sure a lot of you have watched his channel. He does not do intermittent fasting and he has showed his loose skin. I will have his loose skin video linked below. Millions of people have watched it. It's an, it, an amazing video where he pulls his skin every which way and really shows you where his skin is. And I know right now I have so many people watching this channel that are going to say in their heads and some people down in the comments below, because he didn't intermittent fast is the reason why he has the loose skin. But then we can go to Bricks Fitness and we can watch his video, which I will also link. And he shows you his loose skin and he has admitted 
uh, many times that he intermittent fasted the entire process. So now his loose skin is not as extreme as obese to beasts. I've also seen several people on Instagram that did keto and carnivore and vegetarian. Every diet known to man showed their loose skin. And so it does happen to some. And I've seen other people that have zero loose skin. Their skin bounces back. Your age also has a lot to do with it. Keep in mind, I lost over 100 pounds twice in my life, twice. And this time I have more loose skin than I did it when I was in my late 30s than I did when I was 17, 16 years old. I had no loose skin. My body bounced right back. So, you know, it, it just depends. And one of the things you guys can look at too is we can look at different women and how they've had during uh, pregnancies. You see some women will have, their bodies will return right back to normal after pregnancy. They won't have the, the stretch marks and they won't be completely tore up in the middle. Where you will see women that are still lose all of the weight but their stomachs don't ever quite recover from being pregnant. And it's not a matter of whether they fasted after the pregnancy or didn't fast, it's the genetics of their body and how they react to the pregnancy and getting large quickly. All of it is gonna come into play. With all of that put out, can autophagy help? And that is where we're gonna get controversial and that's where everybody wants to, to know. That's probably why you clicked on this channel right now today. So what is autophagy? Autophagy is the recycling of cells and the using of, of wasted cells for energy. So why, how does that happen? What, is, what, what goes on? A Nobel Prize in 2017 was given out for it. Uh, but basically, here's the story. You have a cell and it is damaged old and your body goes through and takes the bad parts of it and removes it and recycles that cell, either fixing it and allowing it to continue on or just completely destroys it and then uses that as energy and uses that to allow you to run a little bit kind of like ketones it gives your body something to run on when you're fasted so if you are not fasted you will never be in autophagy if you're eating a six meal a day standard you know um, I, I don't wouldn't call it a standard diet if you're eating six times a day you're not going to ever get into autophagy. You don't sleep long enough to make it happen. So autophagy, and here's the hard part. If you're running a 16 and 8 protocol, and this is what people don't want to understand and admit to, and you're worried about loose skin and you want autophagy to help you, you don't get any autophagy on a 16 and 8 protocol. Most people, and it's still new science, this is something that's barely two, three years old. But basically what people are talking about here is that it takes beyond 24 hours to really tap into autophagy. So even if you're eating OMAD day in and day out, you're probably not getting autophagy or you're getting very, very little. So autophagy is only going to help you in the long term. So then we start to think about, well, do we have an example of someone that is in a weight loss journey that's doing a more prolonged fasting and how is their loose skin? And so when I think of that, I think of the Fasting Fat Man, which I will also have linked, and I will have all three YouTubers that I mentioned at the end of my videos. So, but the Fasting Fat Man had went 150 plus days fasted, and then another 70 fasted. And he talked a little bit uh, recently about his loose skin issues. So this is a guy that, that, that may not have it to the extreme. I'm not sure. He's never really gotten fully into it, but he did say he was noticing it in a recent video and that he would take loose skin a hundred times over being unhealthy. But this is a guy that's doing prolonged fasting and is in deep in autophagy. So is it helping his loose skin? Is he receiving less loose skin than he would if he was if he was not doing prolonged fasting and the answer of that is going to be impossible because he's only one person so we really don't know if it's helping him or if it's irrelevant at all we don't know if autophagy is going to bounce your skin back it is all just a theory and that is the hard part for all of us to wrap our heads around could it help you? Absolutely. It may be something that works for you and helps you in your journey here to lose weight and, and bounce your skin back. But we cannot for sure give it the thumbs up and say this is something that is going to help. So now that we know that loose skin is 100%, the one fact that we do know is that it is going to be more heavily based on your genetics. And understand that if you have the loose skin and it is part of your genetics, that doesn't mean that you're 
less healthy or that you're a less of an athlete or whatever it is. It's just like some people can do math better than other people and some people can write better than other people. And your skin bounces back a little bit not as good as somebody else's and so forth and so on. You know, some people are going to build muscle quicker. You get the point. So the only way you're going to find out whether you have the loose skin is to buckle down and lose the weight. But I want you to fully understand this because I think it's a broken way of thinking. A lot of times people are worried about the, uh, the impression that other people are going to have on their bodies. And it's a problem that we have across the entire world. I mean, look, you don't have to go to anywhere but Instagram to see that everything is about appearance. Everything is about, you know, all of that stuff. But if you are morbidly obese, you're over 100 pounds overweight right now, you have a large amount of skin filled with a large amount of fat. So if you lose weight and later on you're a single person and you meet somebody and you have the appearance of having a normal body and it got to a point in which this person saw your body and they saw your loose skin and they got rid of you, do they really matter? And the question you really have to ask yourself is going back to when you were morbidly obese, would they have dated you when you were morbidly obese? Because that doesn't make any sense. If they don't like your loose skin now, they didn't like your, your heavy, uh, overweight self either. It's the same skin. It's just filled versus not filled. You know, it really makes inherently no sense. You're not, if that person didn't like you when you were overweight, they're not going to like you when you're skinny with loose skin. Then why are you even care? Who cares about that person? Zip it out of your brain. And if you're worried about going to the beach or going to, you know, something like that and taking your shirt off, just forget it. None of that stuff matters. What matters is getting your health in the right place. And if you're thinking that loose skin is the thing that's going to stop you from wanting to get on a journey to better yourself, I'm here to tell you, you're not right in the head and you need to rethink the entire thing because I've been on both sides of this. I was 37 years old, let's just start there and say no uh, terrible knee, handicap stickers, struggling to walk, barely could breathe, couldn't sleep at night, had sleep apnea, my life was headed down a path where I was not going to make it into my 50s probably. And I'm sitting here today at 41 years old and I'm crushing it. I feel great. I'm exercising every day. I'm doing everything totally different. I feel so much better. My sleep apnea gone. My knee is a thousand times better. Handicap stickers put away. I can't tell you how much better I feel. And I would tell you right now that if I kept the skin and it was way saggy and hanging down and I was all of that good stuff, I would 100% sign up for this today. 100%. Give me the skin because it really doesn't matter. I can just fully 100% tell you that you are going to be fine. You're going to be able to move better. You're going to be able to do everything better if you get the weight off of you. So don't fight it and please don't use loose skin as an excuse not to lose weight. All right, you see my face? It's popping up right there. That'll help you subscribe to this channel. It is free. The information I'm giving you is priceless. And then the other videos out here, guys, there are other YouTubers talking about loose skin. I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.